Lauterbach Development Tools. Model to code navigation with Trace32. Trace32 XIL is a fully integrated plugin for Simulink that builds on the MATLAB Target Connectivity API to run a processor in the loop simulation with Simulink. Code generated with embedded coder can be easily cross compiled, deployed, executed, and debugged on custom targets. To quickly switch between elements of your model and the corresponding sections of C, C, and object code, you could use the navigation features of the Trace32 XIL plugin. I will show you in this video how to establish a connection between Simulink and Trace32. Navigate from a Simulink model to see C++ source code view in Trace32 power view, and vice versa. Set control breakpoints from a Simulink model. For more information about installation and setup of the integration, please watch our other videos. Installation of the Trace32 integration with Simulink and running a processor in the loop simulation with Trace32. I am using in this video a Trace32 instruction set simulator for ARM from February 2019 and MATLAB release 2018B. Please note that the model to code navigation requires a Trace32 release of September 2018 or newer and MATLAB release 2014B or newer. The video is based on a demo project for a Texas Instruments RM57 processor provided in the Trace32 installation directory. Please note that the demo projects are automatically installed with the Trace32 integration for Simulink. Before Trace32 is started from within Simulink, you need to enable the port for code to model navigation in the Trace32 configuration file by taking these steps. Open the file simulink template.config to T32 in a text editor. Then activate the block shown below by uncommenting it. I will now open the model by double-clicking the SLX file. We can now start the processor in the loop simulation by pushing the Run button. A Trace32 instance is automatically started and configured. A first simulation run is performed and then the target CPU is stopped. Now the connection between the Simulink and Trace32 is established. Now we will show you how to navigate between the Simulink model and the source code. To do so, right-click a Simulink block, then select Trace32 XIL. Navigate to C++ code. A source listing window will open in Trace32 PowerView, displaying the generated source code that is related to the Simulink block. The code generated from a single Simulink block may be found at more than one location within the object code. In this case, more than one source listing window will open after selecting Navigate to C++ code. Navigation in the other direction, from a source code line to the corresponding model block, is possible too. The generated source code contains Simulink block comments that lists the names of all related model blocks. The model should be configured to automatically include the comments during the code generation phase. To navigate from Trace32 to the respective block of the Simulink model, right-click in the Trace32 list window in a line containing a Simulink block comment, and then select Navigate to Model from the pop-up menu. The Simulink window is brought up to the front and the corresponding block in our model blinks for a short time. The Simulink block comments used for the navigation can also be used to set breakpoints in a simulation. To demonstrate this feature, 
we increase the simulation stop time. Please note that the default communication timeout in Simulink is set to 10 seconds. To prevent error messages in Simulink, when debugging an application in Trace32 PowerView, the timeout value needs to be increased. This can be done in Trace32 settings M file, which is a script that is automatically executed when Trace32 is started. I will set here, for instance, a timeout value of 10,000 seconds. Then click the Run button. The green bar indicates that the processor in the loop simulation is now running. You can now set the breakpoint by right-clicking a Simulink block and selecting Trace32 XIL. Set breakpoint to C, C++ code. The block to which you have set a breakpoint is then highlighted in orange. Now we can see that the breakpoint has already triggered. The simulation is interrupted. The red breakpoint indicates the set breakpoint. Please note that clicking Run in Simulink deletes all existing breakpoints in Trace32 PowerView because breakpoints are automatically cleared by Trace32 startup script on simulation start. Therefore, you should set breakpoints from within Simulink while the simulation is running or modify the practice startup script to make them persistent. You have learned in this video how the Trace32 integration for Simulink can be used for model-to-source code navigation. Please refer for more information to the following links. Thank you for watching.